Hello everyone. So, as the title of this video suggests, we are relocating. Not, not housewise though, no, 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 don't worry. You see, we're actually moving our boat. Yes, that's right, it's our boat that is relocating from our current mooring to an all new one. And well, this video is a vlog of that process. Right, well, here we are, leaving our mooring at South Walsham for the last ever time. Look at that. The first of the boats which we have encountered today. Yes. Hey, oh, looks like they've redone the moorings down there. Look at these. These are, these are only like temporary moorings, by the way. They're not like the sort of permanent ones that we were at. These are just sort of more up overnight jobbies, but look at this. Very dunnable. Spick and span. And Dunks, Dunks just on the on the foredeck there, just sorting out some mooring lines. It's a beautifully still day out there as you can see. Hardly any wind or anything, much to our pleasure. Look at this. Yes, it's a bit overcast, but overall things are looking good. So as you can see we are now approaching the end of the cut. Well, thankfully, things are still looking good. Touch wood. Things are still looking good. Hello, hello, hello. Looks like we've found our first idiot of the day. Oh, dear. Okay, so, we've now spent a few minutes out on the river, the River Bure, and, um, well, we've just... We've just still been kind of going at sort of tick over speeds, which, to be fair, is about four mile an hour. Um, but uh, yeah, I think think it's about time to push the speed up just just a smidgen, shall we? Yes. Yes. Oh, the sun's coming out now as well. I'll have to get shades out. Yes. I now can't see the screen, but yes. <laughs> so you know that uh, you know that idiot in the uh, picnic boat that, I, that was in front of us that I showed you a bit earlier on. That's now turned around and is going the other way, so we've not really got anyone in front of us, not, not anyone behind us, got someone else going past us as we speak, or as I speak, but other than that, there's no bugger about. I have seen, yeah, there's a sail ahead, but hopefully, hopefully, Things will be, hopefully it'll be a relatively smooth sailing. Same. There we go. I can't speak today. Jesus. <sighs> so, there you go. That is the firm mouth behind us there. Well, if you just look forward, then you may well be able to make out the sailing boat. So, we have just contended with our first sailing boat of 2023. And of course, I handled it all like a pro. Anyway, Dunk's kind of doing stuff at the helm at this point. And it's a beautiful day, as you can see. Or not. So, second sailor boat contended with. Only this one doesn't know which side of the river it's supposed to be on. Which, to be fair, there ain't that much wind. There was goose swinging and everything. We can still get the wind on the other side of the river. Or according to Mr. Sailing Expert Donkey, you would so. Yeah, I don't know what he was up to, but anyway, other than that, there's booger all out here, like. Booger all. So, for the first time in 2023, Upton Dyke. Hee <laughs> hee. So we've just been discussing some of the work which we're going to have to do on the boat this year. And still just remembered about this little cubby hole. Well as it turns out, we've got some deck paint. There's some deck paint which was left behind by the previous owners. And it matches, or yeah obviously, it matches the stuff that we've got on at the moment. Cool. Right, well here we are just about to go under Acle Bridge. But we still haven't got to the new boring yet. Where will it be? 
That's the question that everybody's wondering. Perhaps nobody's wondering, I don't know, but anyway, either way, we are just about to go under Tut Bridge. You know what? I must say that today, weather-wise, it's, it's really kind of weird because it the sun keeps poking out every now and again and then it gets a bit cloudy and then the sun comes out again but it's like I'm taking my sunglasses on and off constantly because the brightness just keeps changing so much it's getting a bit brighter again now Doug's just doing whatever he's doing but yeah it's getting a bit brighter now so I might have to put my shades on again weird mind you it's not raining and it ain't too windy so that's always good Definitely. And there aren't too many people out either because it is only the 22nd of April at time of recording. So, uh, yeah, actually, there ain't that many people out this time of year. Give it a few weeks and that's when you start seeing some more people. But overall, been too many, been, well, certainly haven't seen many idiots, which is always a bonus. Earlier to contend with a couple sailing boats, did so no problem. Everything with our boat seems to be A-OK, -okay, which is, of course, what we want. And, uh, yeah, it's actually been a pretty decent trip out today. The challenging bit, though, we're trying to get onto our new mooring for the first time. I, mean, I say challenging. Fingers crossed it won't be, but I think that's going to be the biggest test for today. So, uh, yeah, anyway... We'll see you there. So, here we are at our new mooring. Check this out. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Now that the boat's side on, <laughs> you can really see just how much work needs to be done. I mean, look, all of this, all of this is bare. So that's going to need redoing. This side deck needs cleaning, more than likely repainting. This here was where a fender was until I managed to pull it off because it kind of sort of got snagged on one of the ropes at the old mooring when we were trying to get out and uh, yeah, it's, as you can see, it's actually broken the metal. Well, that's how powerful the force was. Um, but uh, yeah, and also, also as you can see around here, all this stuff's all flaky and minging and coming off. So that's all going to need r rubbing down and revarnishing. Which is what Doug is going to be doing on his Wednesdays. As soon as he no longer works on that day of the week now. Brilliant. So uh, yeah, he's going to be a busy, busy boy. Busy, busy boy. Oh yeah, as, as you can see. We've got new mooring lines here. Look at these. Well, these we did actually have in a bucket. However, what we did was we, we literally just used the ones that were already attached to the posts and to like the key heading. We, we literally just used the ropes that were already there. It was easier, but they were pretty manky. These ones, nice. I'll show you the one, show the ones at the other end as well. There you are. Look at that. Beautiful. Dunk's redone my lot, interestingly, but, uh, yeah, so this, so new mooring, look at this, and the best bit about it, right, the best bit about it is that, well, because it's a bigger site, as a, you can see, because it's a bigger site, got more facilities, so there's actually like a proper pucker loo block and everything here, great. It's definitely 16 one, isn't it? And there's a dunk. So, you're probably wondering why we've gone for this different mooring in a different place. But, um, but you see, basically, right, basically, we had just about had enough of all the stress and all the faff that came with our Stern 2 mooring, you know, getting it in... And out. Of that 
thing was just it, it just ruined things and it got to the point where it's actually preventing us from going out you know we, we didn't actually want to go out because it was so stressful difference now though is that well we don't have to go through all the you know all the crap that we were ever to go through before we try to get it in and out between them posts because now all we've got to do is reverse that way before then going forwards out of there simple as that or i mean at least i say that we haven't actually done it yet that'll be for another time another day and another video of course but uh yeah in theory it will be much easier and it'll make our boating experience is so much more pleasurable. All right? So anyway, listen, I think this would be a good opportunity for me to end off this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'll see you whenever I next see you. Bye for now.